Congratulations, you've filled out your forms and hopefully zeroed out your budget without too many fights. What did you find out about where your money goes? For some, the income was greater than expenses and this may surprise you and give you some peace. Well, if you have extra, hold on. We'll teach you how to send this to another financial goal a little bit later. You didn't win. You still need to name those dollars or it'll slip through your fingers. And you need to name them right now. We'll cover how to build wealth with that extra money in other lessons. Lastly, in the budget, some are short. And guess what? You need a real quick meeting with yourself, your spouse, or possibly a coach to grind this thing out. How you make up for the short now is you typically go into debt. Remember the phone call? Well, we need to go back and make some tough decisions. And some of you are right on. Great job on paper. Well, paper is easy. The true test is will you follow through? You know, when it comes to budgeting, we have to be intentional. And here's author and motivational speaker John Maxwell. A life-changing experience for me back in 1973 as I'm sitting down with a guy named Kurt and we're at the Holiday Inn in Lancaster, Ohio, and he asked me, he said, John, what's your plan for growth? I'm just a kid. I, I, I'm just in my 20s. I don't even know I'm supposed to have a plan for growth. I'm embarrassed because I don't have a plan for growth. And, and then so I decided to fake it. So I told him how hard I worked. I went through this whole schedule, and I was like a plane circling a field, you know, trying to come in for a landing. I went around and around and around. Finally, I ran out of gas and shut up and landed that sucker. And as soon as I quit, he said, looked at me, smiled, and he said, you don't have a plan, do you? Eh, no. Oh. Then he said words that changed my life. He said, John, growth is not an automatic process. If you're going to grow, you're going to have to do so intentionally. Maxwell is talking about life-changing experiences. And if you've never done a budget before and you got it close to balancing, hopefully you now have a feeling of control over your money rather than money having control over you. If you got that feeling, do you think that's a life-changing experience? Absolutely. Did the budget really take that long to do? I mean, come on. Was it really hard? No. Is it important? Absolutely. And you know what? The average millionaire can't tell you all the details of online gaming and TV shows, but they can tell you where their money is going every single month. So our challenge to you is stick to the budget, do the budget, and simply do something.